Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video we saw how we very quickly could figure out the magnification of the objective which then multiplied times the magnification of the eyepiece we could very quickly get the magnification of the microscope but it was just an approximation. We used L as being the image distance and the focal length of the objective as being the object distance but that's not exactly correct so here what we're going to do is come up with a more exact answer. So what we could do here is figure out what the um, what we call the uh, object distance should be. So we know that the object distance is going to be equal to s prime f over s prime minus f. Of course, that comes from the equation where one over f plus one over oh, not plus, but one over f, one over the focal length is equal to one over the object distance plus one over the image distance. So from that we get this equation. But of course that, uh, that requires us to know the focal length of the objective and the image distance of the objective. Now notice that the image is going to be placed just inside the focal point of the eyepiece. And if we say for example in our example here that the eyepiece has a focal length of 5 centimeters, then we take the full length of the microscope, subtract from that the focal length of the eyepiece that gives us the image distance. So in this case the image distance will be 15 centimeters. So the object distance where we must place the object is going to be equal to the image distance which is 15 times the, and this is of course the object focal point, the focal length of the object which is objective I should say, which is 1 divided by 15 minus 1. And so this is going to be 15 divided by 14 which is Let's see here, 15 divided by 14, that's 1.0714. 1 1.0714. 1 centimeters. Now notice that the focal length of the objective is 1 centimeter, you're actually going to put it slightly in front by 0.0714 centimeters, just a little bit more than 1 centimeter in front of the lens. So now we can calculate the Magnification, the magnification is equal to minus s prime over s, which is minus 15, because 15 is a distance from the lens to just inside the focal point. And then we divide that by s, which is 1.0714. 15 equals, and that would make it exactly minus 14. Now remember what we got? When we did it the quick way on the previous video, we end up with a minus 20. So you can see there's a fair amount of difference between the exact value and the approximated value. Of course, the approximated value will not be as bad if we use a smaller focal length of the, of the magnifying glass, of the eyepiece of the microscope, but still there's going to be some difference. It's just a ballpark figure we got from the previous method. The exact method gives us a much better idea. Now let's develop the general equation for finding the magnification of the objective. So this is just for the objective lens alone. So starting with the objective lens again, we have minus s prime over s. So in this case, s prime is going to be the length of the tube minus the focal length of the eyepiece. And we divide that by s. Now what is s equal to? Well, we have the equation right here. So we're going, we can say that this is going to be equal to um, s prime. Uh, so it would be s prime times the focal length of the objective divided by s prime minus the focal length of the objective. Now, since we're dividing by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying by its inverse. It's equal to minus the quantity L minus the focal length of the eyepiece times S prime minus the focal length of the objective divided by S prime times the focal length of the objective. But then again, remember what S prime was equal to. S prime was essentially the length of the microscope minus the focal length of the eyepiece. So this is going to be minus the length of the microscope minus the focal length of the eyepiece times s prime, well s prime again, I'm going to make the substitution, that's going to be L, the length of the microscope, minus the focal length of the eyepiece, and then minus the focal length of the objective, all divided by s prime here, which is equal to the length of the 
microscope minus the focal length of the eyepiece times the focal length of the objective. Now when you take a look at this, realize that this and this cancels out. And so we end up with the magnification of the objective in the general equation is going to be minus the quantity, the length of the microscope, minus the focal length of the eyepiece, minus the focal length of the objective, all divided by the focal length of the objective. And so this is your general equation to find the magnification of the objective. Now, just to make sure we did it correctly, let's plug in the values that we have. So this should be equal to minus the length of the microscope, which is 20, minus the focal length of the eyepiece, which is 5, minus the focal length of the objective, which is 1, all divided by the focal length of the objective, which is 1. And so this gives us 20 minus 6, or minus 14 over 1, which is minus 14. And notice we got the exact same value by using the general equation as we did when we calculated the magnification using the lens equation. And that is how it's done.